We're out of time. Roller coasters have come and gone. Only some become legends for their intensity and thrills. Each and every year, coaster fans like you venture to the parks, searching for that one special ride that stands out above the rest. You submitted your rankings, and now it's time to reveal the group of elite roller coasters that you have voted as the best of the best. CoasterNet Uncut is proud to present the 2017 Thrilling 32. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the final episode of the 2017 Thrilling 32 Bracket Challenge as part of the 2016 Ride Warrior <laughs> Choice Awards. This is CoasterNet Uncut. The championship round is here. I am Danny Miller from Binghamton, New York, alongside, as always, Andrew Barczyk from Chicago, Illinois. And you can tell by the look on our faces <laughs> that we are so excited to find out who the winners are tonight. Isn't that right, Andy? Danny, you know, we started this process so many months ago. At the beginning of November, we put out the Ride Warrior Choice uh, you know, poll that, that we wanted to find out what you guys thought were the best of the best roller coasters. We tabulated that list. We had the selection show. We've been through all the rounds, and now we're finally here, finally here to crown the number one wood coaster and the number one steel coaster. Uh, you know, I, I think I know who has it in the bag already, Danny Miller. I don't know about you. I think I know who has it. But I'm willing, I, you know, there's, there's that, there's that infinite, infinitesimal chance that I might be wrong. But we're going to see tonight and see also who becomes champion of the Thrilling 32 Bracket Challenge as well. <laughs> That's right. Well, what do you say? We, let's not waste any time. Let's get right to the championship matchups. Let's start with the wood as always. And we had a little bit of a surprise last week with El Toro knocking off the voyage in the semifinals. And then maybe you were not surprised to see Lightning Rod from Dollywood in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, advance to the championship. And now we've got... We've got this ultimate matchup here that I think could only be improved if it was actually Lightning Rod versus Voyage. But we've got Lightning Rod versus El Toro. El Toro number three, then number four, then number three, and number three again last year. It has been right around. It's been knocking on the door for several years now. And it might be El Toro's time in this poll, but then you've got the new kid on the block in Lightning Rod looking to pull a fury and win in its first year, despite all the problems Lightning Rod had and all the negative comments and all the negative publicity this ride had. It has overcome all odds so far to make it this far. Now, the question is, can it take it one step further, take it the final step, and actually be crowned the number one wood coaster of the Ride Warrior Choice Awards and the champion of the Thrilling 32 bracket in its first year? I'm interested in seeing where you come down on this. I think I know where you're going, though. You know, Danny, I said it on the last show, I, and I've said it for most of this tournament. I think Lightning Rod has had a cakewalk into the championship, and now I feel as if it has a cakewalk through the championship to become the uh, for its first year in operation uh, the twenty uh, you know the the, the thrilling thirty two. Uh, steel, or wood, wood coaster champion. I almost said steel there because uh -oh. <laughs> don't want to start any stuff no, here tonight. Let's not get into that, let's not get into tonight. that discussion tonight. Uh, but Danny, you know, but but still, once again, like I said at the open, there's still that sh chance in my mind that I go back and I think about all the people who love El Toro. It's an East Coast roller coaster. It has a huge following. It's been around for a while. It's not like it's new, that it's built up a following. Will that following overcome Lightning Rod based on Lightning Rod having all those problems? If Lightning Rod was open for the entire 2016 season, I say this is not even a question in anybody's mind right now. Not even a question. But because it opened up so late and had so many problems, I think that's where the question marks start to come. That's when the question marks start to fly. And that's where it leads me to think that maybe El Toro is going to be the champion. But, Danny, I'm still going to stick with Lightning Rod. So you're sticking with Lightning Rod. Sticking with Lightning Rod. Wood Championship here. 
going down. Well, well, you know, here's the thing. We have some good friends at Devin Olson Media uh, who who did a lot of work with Lightning Rod, and um, I believe the song at the end of uh, at the end of that documentary says, "Representing the good old state of Tennessee, riding Lightning Rod. Lightning Rod is your champion for the 2016 <laughs> Ride Warrior Choice Awards. Lightning Rod is the number one wood coaster from the 2016 Ride Warrior Choice Awards." And uh, is the champion of the 2017 uh, Thrilling 32 bracket on the wood bracket. Uh, Lightning Rod from Dollywood is number yeah. one this yes. year. I, I, I knew it, Danny. And you I, know what? I'm smiling here, too, just because El Toro didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's happy tonight on Coaster Dead Uncut, except those people who picked El Toro. Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> right. And oh. everyone who picked Voyage, uh, because vo- vo- we oh. all know Voyage should actually be the number one wood coaster. But 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 but, 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 but this people have spoken. Uh, Lightning Rod they has have. won they this have. time around. They absolutely have. <laughs> so how about that well we will reveal the full wood rankings in just a few moments uh but before we do we have some business to settle uh with the steel coasters we do uh we need to find out our steel champion and you know this is one that we you know you you kind of alluded to this already how um you know you thought that there might it we we talked about this last week how Maybe these two championship matchups were a little anticlimactic, and I think you nailed it right on the head with Lightning Rod. You have been you have been saying Lightning Rod for several rounds now uh, would make yes. it to the finals, and your only worry was if Voyage would take it down. And with Voyage out of the picture, you thought that that championship matchup was really kind of anticlimactic. Um, and you were kind of hoping for the Fury versus Ma- – I think both you and I were hoping for the Fury versus Maverick uh, matchup here uh, on the Steel side of things. Uh, but instead, we get Fury versus Expedition G-Force. And if you look at the side-by-side here, on paper, ju- this just does not it- – it's hard to tell because Fury was new last year, and it was number one in this poll last year, uh, so you don't have much to go off of. You have one year where it was number one. Um, you know, We just saw that Lightning Rod has pulled off that same feat. Expedition G-Force didn't have enough riders the first few years, was number 11, and then was number five last year. So on paper, even though there's not a lot to compare on paper, on paper this one does look like a mismatch. Absolutely. Once again. You know, we saw Fury uh, roll through the competition last year uh, in, in, in the Thrilling 32. And I once again, we see it happening this year as well. Uh, it, it, going up against Expedition G-Force, I know in the past we've said that there's a whole ton of European voters in this year uh, that, that, you know, maybe they would have influenced it. But just the overwhelming, when we looked at the percentages last year, it wasn't a close vote. It wasn't Fury by a, by a hair. It was Fury by a mile. Uh, there is, I, I can't imagine any way that Expedition G-Force, even with a huge influx of people, would overcome the, the Fury of Fury 325, Danny. Yeah, I mean, Fury, Fury won last year by such an overwhelming... Uh, amount and it it was it was it was so conclusive i think um and and i and the people have agreed with that like we said 59 out of 73 people selecting fury as their champion uh in in the in the contest this year um now we we've talked about percentages here um you know in, in the final rankings and we will see the full rankings in just a few moments um You know, we've talked about how we've had certain coasters be within a few percentage points of each other. Um, We take the percentage essentially out to uh, four decimal places, so, you know, 66.66%. So it's really four decimal places, the the .6666 or whatever, or .7778 or, you know, whatever that is. So it ends up becoming um, a four-digit percentage. And I would have to actually go back and look at previous years. But to my knowledge, we, we've had 
coasters that have been essentially in dead heat ties, and we've had coasters selected uh, or separated by the by one change of that fourth digit. But I believe this is the closest we've ever had uh, between a number one and a number two coaster. The number two coaster at 98.67%. And the number one coaster at 98.71%. The separation between these top two coasters, I will tell you that Fury 325 and Expedition G Force were number one and number two this year. So they were separated by 0.0004 percentage points. And the champion this year is Expedition G-Force from Holiday Park in Germany. Pull, yes, uh, that is correct. Expedition G-Force from Holiday Park in Germany is the champion of the 2016 Ride Warrior Choice Awards. Dan, uh, color me shocked here. Uh, I, I, you look shocked. I'm shocked. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, Expedition G-Force, you know, I, I've said in the past, not a ride that I'm very familiar with, a ride that I'm a little bit skeptical of, a ride that I've heard other people give high praise to, um, but better than Fury 325? Wow. I, I I don't know. Uh, you know, I, I, I do know this. Expedition G-Force, always a perennial favorite within the Mitch, the Mitch Hawker poll uh, that was, that was kind of styled a lot like ours where anybody could vote. Um, you know, the, the, uh, the golden tickets expedition G force always in there as well. So it, 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 it don't, I, and, and even based on previous year's results here, uh, you know, looking at the past, I can't say that I'm completely shocked, uh, by it, but I am shocked that it's over, that it is able to overcome fury after such a dominant performance last year. Yeah, and, and I, I think it even would have been surprising had Fury actually won that it would have been that close. It's but still, again, yeah. these two co these two coasters flip flopped a lot during the voting process, and um, you know we we did have a heavy European participation this year, um, but, but I, I can't I honestly cannot say that that necessarily is what swung the voters. We you know we, there were folks from Europe who voted Expedition G Force. Uh, lower than Fury 325 and uh, just low overall on their lists. We, we had several people who have traveled overseas who reside here in the States or in Canada. Um, some folks having Expedition G-Force higher, some having Fury higher. I don't know the exact head-to-head -head comparison of all the people who rode both. Um, I would have to do some research to look that up. But um, by pretty much the slimmest of margins that we've ever had, um, Expedition G-Force wins the steal. So um, all 73 participants uh, having the steel <laughs> champion wrong, not a single one of them selecting what? Expedition G-Force. So, um, and then 29 of them correctly selecting Lightning Rod as the uh, wood champion. Um, and one of them is our winner of the contest, which is uh, Mr. Arthur Poor, who is uh, the winner of our contest this year. Uh, yes! He selected Lightning Rod as yes! wood champion. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! Yes, Danny Miller! <laughs> I did it! I did it! <laughs> Now, Danny, you may be a little confused about the name Art Poor. That's not the real Art name, Poor. Danny Miller. The real name is Raptor Wins. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I did Very it. Very nicely done. Oh, finally, finally, you screwed Raptor. You screwed Raptor again. You screwed him, and now he's back. You didn't think challenge did you oh no oh months of planning finally come together when arthur core i mean raptor wins the thrilling 32 oh my oh, god that's yes. fantastic oh. Oh. <laughs> okay wow i guess i'm already sitting amongst greatness i am greatness so i don't need to <laughs> 
Oh, the greatest scam in the history of Coaster Nut Uncut. I think we can definitely say that. Oh, oh, oh. Well, Danny, Danny, in fairness, I just wanted to teach you a lesson not to screw Raptor. <laughs> So I will abdicate my crown for this year. I will abdicate the Val Raven crown, or maybe I should wear this on the rest of the show. The crown of Thrilling 32 champion. I will abdicate it in favor of the second place winner, since I'm already the best. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Uh, people probably have no clue what's going on right now. <laughs> They really don't have any clue what's going on. Oh, 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 oh okay. my goodness. Okay. <laughs> we even had people on Facebook like hashtag who is Arthur Poor. <laughs> there's, there's even a Facebook account made for him. I know. It's fantastic. Oh, this, this, this ruse went deep, Danny. <laughs> this was oh, a, oh, I know. I know it did. This, this ruse has gone deep. on for months. For months, for months on the conversations with you of who is Arthur uh, Poor, and I had to keep a straight face all through these all through these shows. <laughs> you talking about Arthur Poor? Never once did I reveal who I actually was. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I I should wear my name tag for the rest of the show, though. Oh I my think. goodness! Yeah, I, I'll, I'll wear my name tag. <laughs> People are gonna hate us. <laughs> Started going. Oh, I even went into the, the the steel coaster connoisseurs and asking stupid roller coaster questions just to get you to <laughs> yes, notice you me. <laughs> <laughs> just to get you to notice me, so you would believe the ruse. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Well, we can continue with the show. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh man. <laughs> People are so confused right now. Oh. 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 Oh, anyway. oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so should we put up the act should we put up the final standings right now before we reveal the list here? So as you can see, Mr. Arthur Boer is up there in first This guy <laughs> How did you not get that, Arthur Poor? Come on. From no, six. I did. I did. I asked you as soon as that one came through if that was you. But you didn't know it spelled. You didn't know it spelled Raptor, and I knew it was six letters too because you like pointing that out all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh man. Oh, oh that's fantastic. That's wonderful. Oh. Um, so if you, if you look at the actual standings here, um, if, if you look at the actual sta these standings, uh, coming in second place is Nicholas. <laughs> I don't even know how we go on at this point. <laughs> oh, oh man, where's Brian Bass when you need him? <laughs> Not here. <laughs> <laughs> probably messaging us on Facebook. Oh, my God. oh man. <sighs> oh, that's fantastic. Oh. <laughs> I need a second to compose myself. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I hope Nicholas actually watched this show. I do get discouraged after the last episode. I was thinking about that, too. <laughs> I was thinking about that last week. Oh, my God. Oh, oh man. Anyways, oh. so there, there's your standings. You can see them up there where you finished. Um, my dad wins the family battle again. He finishes in uh, 10th place overall, the highest-ranked person who didn't have either champion correct. Uh, my mom finishes 28th, and then uh, Aunt Sue finishes down in 62nd. Uh, Ryan Wilcox, the uh, lowest ranked person who actually had lightning rod, cor lightning rod correct out there at 48. And we always have to mention uh, whoever comes in at the, at the bottom was uh, uh, Mr. Noel Bloom, who had Outlaw Run and Maverick, uh, 46 points. Um, you know, lots of lots of good picks, but uh, just just not the right ones. <laughs> um, um, oh my goodness, unbelievable! <laughs> it's fantastic. Um, 
All right. <laughs> so, shall we go to the full lists here? Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. <laughs> okay, let's go to the full lists. Um, <laughs> so, let's go to the top 50 wood coasters. Um, let's start with the top 50 wood coasters. So, we're going to show you 33 through 50 here just to show you the coasters that um, – the coasters that uh, just missed out on making the bracket, uh, 50, Great American Scream Machine from Six Flags Over Georgia, 49, The Blue Streak at Cedar Point, 48, Timber Terror at Silverwood, 47, American Eagle, 46, The Kennywood Jackrabbit, 45, Boardwalk Bullet, 44, The Yankee Cannonball at Canopy Lake Park, 43, Tremors at Silverwood, 42, The Boss from Six Flags St. Louis, 41, The Great White at Maury's Piers, 40, Viper at Six Flags Great America. 39, The Zip and Pippin at Bay Beach. 38, The Georgia Cyclone. One that you're not uh, too much of a fan of there. Not a fan of that one. Uh, uh, 37, The Wild One from Six Flags America. Number 36, Troy from Toverland uh, over in the Netherlands, I believe. Uh, number 35, Apocalypse from Six Flags Magic Mountain. Number 34, Giant Dipper from Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. And the first coaster out this year was number three. Uh, 33, the Thunderbolt at Kennywood. Uh, just missing out on the festivities there. Uh, now we'll get to the actual thrilling 32. Number 32 was Excalibur from Funtown Splashtown. We had revealed that on an earlier mm-hmm. episode. <coughs> Wooden Warrior coming in at 31. Twister at Knobles, number 30. Cornball Express at number 29. Lightning Racer at number 28. The Coaster at PE Playland dropping quite a bit this year down to the number 27 slot. Uh, the Coney Island Cyclone, uh, number 26. White Lightning coming in at number 25. Uh, the Rejuvenated Ghost Rider coming in at number 24. Just uh, 0.02% behind yeah. the Kentucky Rumbler, which Look came at in at number 23. Uh, close separation there for sure. Uh, number 22, Vodon Timber Coaster, Europa Park. 21, The Great Escape Comet. One that you were uh, quite surprised by to see that one I, that, uh, that very one high was... there. I was very surprised to see that come in at 21, because as you know, I'm not a huge fan of the comment. Um, and, and we've had a few people on Facebook comment or comment that they as well aren't huge fans of comment in comparison uh, to it's other good wood ride, But I, I don't think I, I don't think it's even in my top 32. So uh, yeah, I'm definitely 21. surprised to see that one. And that's one that hasn't made the bracket, I think, uh, a whole lot in recent years. So it's, it's surprising to see that one jump up that far. Uh, number 20, The Raven at Holiday World. Number 19, American Thunder at Six Flags St. Louis. Then we had a big separation up to number 18. Excuse me. Yes. Which was Renegade at Valley Fair. And number 17, The Legend at Holiday World. So, uh, uh, you know, Legend wrapping out the, uh, the, uh, the bottom half of the Thrilling 32. Then we go to the top 16. We've got Thunderhead uh, from Dollywood at number 16. Prowler, number 15. Uh, from Worlds of Fun, number 14, mm. Shivering Timbers at Michigan's Adventure, The Beast the King's Island coming in at number 13 this year, and an improvement this yeah. year for The Beast. I think the surprise of the tournament here has to be number 12, Hades 360 yes. from Mount Olympus, uh, doing very well this year, um, and really it, it fell to lightning rod in the first round. Otherwise, Hades 360 might have been poised uh, to win a couple of matchups there. Uh, number 11 was Colossus from Hyde Park, also in Germany. And then uh, getting into the top 10 here, Goliath at Six Flags Great America in uh, your neck of the woods there, coming in at number 10. Ravine Flyer 2 coming in at number 9 this year. Outlaw Run dropping from Ooh. number 1 down to number 8 this year. That's I think, a again, big drop. That, that might be the, the Fury effect, the Lightning Rod effect, uh, if you will. People realizing that it has its flaws with something bigger and better coming out. Um, Outlaw Run at number 8. Gold Striker coming in at number seven, then a big separation again. So we go up to the Phoenix at number six. How about Rampage coming yes. in in the top five this year <clears throat> in the Ride Warrior Choice Awards? Rampage from Alabama Splash Adventure coming in at number five. And then as you can see here, we actually had a true final four of the top four this year in the wood bracket. We had Boulder Dash coming in at number four, Voyage coming in at number three this year, El Toro coming in at number two, and number one, our champion once again, Lightning Rod, with 96.71% of the vote, uh, more than a half of a percentage point, so uh, a pretty decent margin uh, for Lightning Rod <clears throat> this year uh, in the wood bracket uh, coming out as the champion. Still fairly close, though, in the overall scheme of things, yeah. that 
that that you wonder next year with Lightning Rod, uh, you know, theoretically having a full season and a half under its belt, um, if Lightning Rod stays open all next year, you wonder how many more people are going to get to ride it. And and if we'll see a much larger margin next year with Lightning Rod, or maybe people aren't going to like it, and maybe it, it, it goes down that, you know, it works both ways. As more people ride it, if those people don't like it, you know, it's very likely to see Lightning Rod go the opposite way here. So, uh, you know, I, I tend to think it's going to move up. I tend to think that margin's going to grow. Uh, but, you know, we saw Fury this year fall, so I guess anything can happen. That's right. Well, you mentioned Fury, so why don't we go over to the uh, Steel Coaster list now. We'll we'll start with 33 through 50 here, the ones that just missed out. Uh, coming in at number 50 was Alpengeist at uh, Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Number 49, Volcano, the Blast Coaster. Uh, no art poor on this list, unfortunately. No, no, uh, number no. 40, Talon <laughs> from Tony Park. Number 47, Griffin from Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Number 46, maybe the surprise of the Steel mm. Coaster list, King to Ka from Six Flags great adventure coming in at number 46 this year uh certainly a surprise to me Mm -hmm. um number 45 cheetah hunt from bush gardens tampa Uh, another surprise here ride of steel from darian lake coming in at number 44 typically one that is not uh too well liked uh one that is not that high on my list um yeah number 43 the incredible hulk coaster what the uh, hell uh, are you kidding me this is interesting because we we don't know how people are ranking this one particularly because of the new renovation we we don't know how people are ranking this one either so uh you know we'll see if Hulk moves around as people get to ride the new version and see if people count it as a new I'll, credit or, I'll, I'll or how people will I, I, I think you need to count it as a new credit. It's a brand new coaster. It's all new steel. It's like they cloned itself in the same spot. It's a new coaster. So I, I, I think well, I think in the future we'll have to have Incredible Hulk coaster and then Hulk 2016. <clears throat> you know. Maybe. We'll, we'll see how people uh, submit their rankings next year and, and see how people decide to separate that out. Uh, number 42, Goliath from La Ronde yeah. up in Montreal. Uh, number 41, Storm Runner at Hershey Park. Uh, uh, I, I think maybe we're seeing the Maverick effect there a little mm-hmm. bit. Uh, Storm Runner getting those soft restraints this year. Yes. So uh, maybe uh, a little bit of a resurgence for Storm Runner. Number 40, a ride that you and I both enjoy very much, mm-hmm. the Mindbender at Six Flags Over Georgia, one of those classic Schwarzkopf coasters. Uh, number 39 is Shikra from Bush Gardens, Tampa. Number 38, we see Tyrone from Fantasia Land in Germany coming here. So a very respectable showing for uh, Tyrone here in its first round. Not quite making the thrilling 32, but a definitely a promising result for Tyrone here. Maybe we and, can expect to see it next year. And it, I, I think you had mentioned to me at some point that Tyrone uh, definitely had a lot of people out there uh, in Europe who really love that ride. Um, you know, yes, a lot did. of people ranking it very highly. So I think as more people get on it, and if those people vote in here, I think Tyrone might be a ride to watch uh, coming up here in the Thrilling 32 if we had to pick one. Uh, I, I would not be surprised to see Tyrone making uh, a run uh, in, in the coming years here. Number 37, Superman Ride of Steel at Six Flags America. So interesting because that was kind of the one that a lot of the East Coast folks got to ride with virtual reality. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I think that's interesting to see that one uh, still pretty high up on the list. Number 36, Magnum mm. XL 200, one that I think you and I agree uh, should maybe be a little bit higher on yes. the list. One that I think you and I would like to see make the thrilling 32. Uh, number 35, Lightning Run from uh, Kentucky Kingdom. Uh, number 34 is Afterburn from Carowinds. And number 33, the first ride out, uh, maybe a little surprising mm. this one's this high, Top Thrill Dragster, number yeah. 33 this year yeah, in the Ride that, Warrior Choice Awards. It's a good ride. I like it. All right, now let's get to the thrilling 32. Accelerator from Knott's Berry Farm, number 32. Uh, Another California launch coaster, Full Throttle, coming in at number 31. Uh, Kumba from Busch Gardens Tampa, coming in at number 30. Apollo's Chariot from Busch Gardens Williamsburg, coming in at number 29. Look at the separation between 29 and 31. Very little separation there between those three rides. Uh, Coming in at number 28 is Thunderbird from Holiday World. Number 27 is Tatsu from Six Flags Magic Mountain. Just above it, uh, you know, the age-old debate between Manta and Tatsu. Manta ranks higher this year at number 26. 
Banshee coming in at number 25 this year. So Banshee, we have seen slip down that, the ranks yeah. uh, the, after, after being number seven in its first year. We've seen it drop down uh, quite a few spots over its first couple years. Number 24 is where we see Storm Chaser come into the mix here. And this is still one that uh, you and I yeah, are, still we just scoff at a little bit here. Um, number 23, Intimidator from Carowinds. And here we start to see a bunch of the B&M yes. hypercoasters come in here. We see Car- uh, the Carowinds Intimidator at 23. We see Nitro at 22. We see Behemoth come in at 21. And again, not much separation between those. Then we see Montu jump into the mix at number 20. And again, very little separation here up to uh, Diamondback from Kings Island uh, at number 19. Then we see quite a large gap, actually, between 19 and 18. 18 is where we see Mako come in from SeaWorld Orlando, the new B&M hypercoaster this year. Um, a, a, Ray, uh, a spot that I'm okay with personally here, but why do you think that Mako probably I, you uh, know, ought to be a little bit lower? Well, I, you know, I, I, I don't know if Mako should be lower. That That's right around where I have Mako, I think a few spots lower on my own personal list. But I have a lot of these B&M hypers above Mako. Uh, to, to see Diamondback, which I think is a far superior ride to Mako, uh, to see it lower by that percentage margin is a little bit surprising to me. I, I thought Diamondback would place higher. Uh, maybe it's because so many people have ridden Diamondback, and maybe the Mako people, there's, you know, maybe not a lot of people got down to Orlando, and, you know, maybe all the people okay. that did liked it a lot. Um, I, I, I don't know. I just I find it a little bit surprising because I think of like Behemoth and Montu and Diamondback is all being a little bit better than Mako. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, you know, we'll see if Mako is one of those rides that maybe inches its way up or maybe as more people it um, makes its way, uh, slides down a little bit. Uh, number 17 is Phantom's Revenge from Kennywood, which, uh, you know, made quite a run this year uh, for sure, uh, making it to the Elite Eight, I believe. Let's go to the top 16 now, and we see Skyrush from Hershey Park coming at number 16. So Skyrush dropping down a little bit this year. Um, Skyrush, many people will know, uh, was actually the ride that Expedition G-Force knocked off in the very first round, and many people selected <coughs> Skyrush to win that first round matchup. Yeah. Um, so that did, as we see, eventually doomed quite a few folks. Number 15 is Wicked Cyclone from Six Flags New England. Number 14 is New Texas Giant from Six Flags Over Texas. Number 13 is Twisted Colossus from Six Flags Magic Mountain. So we see a little bit of a, a pocket of uh, RMC coasters there. Yes. And number 12, we see Leviathan from Canada's Wonderland. Uh, and number 11, we see Blue Fire Mega Coaster from Europa Park uh, over there in Roost, Germany. And just point zero 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 one <laughs> points above Blue Fire, making it into the top ten, is X2 from Six Flags Magic Mountain. Uh, so, you know, we, we do see uh, X2 uh, actually having a very respectable showing. Uh, yeah. The uh, So, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's interesting to see X2 go that high. X2 definitely a ride that... Um, X2, definitely a ride that uh, we want to keep an eye on in the future here. Uh, Iron Rattler coming in at number nine this year, the highest-ranked RMC of the bunch this year. Uh, Superman the Ride from Six Flags New England coming in at number eight. So after uh, winning as Bizarro two years ago, uh, we actually see... um, we actually see Superman coming at number eight this year, and I wonder if yeah. maybe the VR didn't hurt that a little bit because uh, Superman did drop a couple. Uh, maybe, maybe the change from Bizarre to Superman rubbed people the wrong way. I'm not. I'm not quite sure uh, what the deal is uh, with that uh, this year, but uh, Superman uh, coming in at uh, number eight. Then Goliath from Six Flags Over Georgia, kind of the outlier of the B&M Hypers, coming in all the way up at number seven, hmm. uh, which, which is very interesting there. Uh, and number six is where we see Nemesis come into the fray from Alton Towers. Um, and again, another ride that has been in the Final Four in previous years. Uh, and it, it, now into the top five, we see Millennium Force kind of having a resurgence after being number 17 last mm-hmm. year. Uh, we see Millennium Force 
uh, bounce all the way back up to number five this year, which is really good to see. And I think that that ought to be maybe where Millennium Force actually belongs, somewhere in the top five there. Um, I think it's deserving of a top five spot Absolutely. for sure. So Absolutely. It's, good, it's good to see Millennium Force go back up there. Um, and, and, you know, if you're watching along with us here, you see just above it at number four, Maverick coming yeah. in at number four. And again, a true final four of the top four coasters this year again uh, uh, for the steel coasters, just like we saw in the wood coasters. Uh, it is Maverick coming in at number four. Then a little bit of separation up to Intimidator 305, which came in at number three this year, the first time it has not been in the top two. Quite a good deal of separation from Intimidator 305 up to our top two, as we mentioned when we revealed the winner. Fury 325 coming in at number two, and then by just 0.04 percentage Whew. points, uh, Expedition G-Force, uh, the champion this year. That That is unbelievable. Um, you know, a lot of cool things on here. I think it's really cool that Maverick is above Millennium Force right now. Um, you know, we, we how long have we been saying those soft restraints are going to start changing people's minds? And 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 this is yeah. this is a direct result of that. That that Maverick jumps up immediately uh, in, in, into the the top four rides in the world. So that's I think that's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, just in general, I mean, we're seeing a lot of different rides, uh, you know, be included here. We're seeing, we're seeing some rides shift around here and there, but at the same time, we're also seeing, uh, you know, we're seeing some of the same rides, but we're seeing new rides and we're seeing rides shift around a little bit. But generally, I think we're getting into a good solid list here. And, uh, you, you know, overall, I'm very pleased with uh, the list we th that we got this year uh, from the Ride Warrior Choice Awards. Um, again, I, th I think... It's really hard for me to argue Expedition G-Force winning the steel just because I haven't ridden it yet. I, I haven't had the opportunity to really say, you know, no, it's not number one. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of my thoughts on that as far as the wood goes. I, I, I still think, that, and I think you and I are in agreement here, that I think Voyage is, is the best wood coaster on the yeah. planet. Um, again, we haven't ridden some of the overseas ones, but there's not really any overseas rides seeming to challenge no. a voyage right now. So uh, it's, you know, it, it really, uh, it, it, the wood coaster thing is, is so interesting because so many people like different things out of wood coasters. Yes. Steel coasters, I think, even though steel coasters can do a lot more, I think generally people agree more on what a good steel coaster ought to do. Uh, compared to the wood coaster, some people like getting beat up, some people don't. Some people like the side to side, some people just like the ups and downs. And uh, I think the fact that Voyage gives you a lot of everything makes it so many people's favorites because it does everything well. But at the same time, there there's detractors because those certain things that they may not like, Voyage gives them a lot of that, too. So I think, you know, Voyage Voyage may be so awesome and such a perfect combination of everything. It's too awesome for <laughs> enough people that it, it's, that it doesn't win this year. But I, I think you and I, at least, are in agreement that uh, maybe Voyage ought to be the number one wood coaster. But generally speaking... Uh, very happy with the ways that things turned out this year. Yeah, I, I you know, our, our lists, I think, are ever-changing, um, you know, which makes it difficult to predict, as you can see, the, the bracket challenge for most people, um, you know, but but it, it's, I, you know, when, when you compare this list to something like the Golden Tickets that so many people have issues with, so many people sit there and complain about the Golden Tickets every year, uh, well, here is a list that you guys created that if you don't feel that you liked what you saw here this evening, invite your friends, invite other people to come vote into the Ride Warrior Choice Awards, because that's what this is all about. It's tabulating your opinion and tabula tabulating your votes to get a list that you, that we feel is more representative of all people than, say, any other list. That, that really, a lot of people do polls, Danny Miller, but I don't think there is any independent poll out there currently that does it like you. There's nobody out there that puts in the time, that has as many participants. Uh, you know, you have the GTAs, that's one thing, but independent polls, this is it. This is the Ride Warrior Choice Awards. 
That's right. And again, you know, we, we want to thank everyone who participated in voting in the Ride Warrior Choice Awards to come up with not only this list, but the actual Ride Warrior Choice Awards in the write-in categories, um, which we, uh, we we will be bringing that to you uh, next week, the actual winners of those categories. I think we had 14 or 15 different categories, um, some of which, you know, you see in all the award shows, but other different ones uh, that we like to change every year. We don't like to have the same 15 categories every year because, um, as you see with the golden tickets, sometimes they don't change a whole lot from year to year. So we like to have different categories to uh, make it interesting. So those winners will be coming up to you uh, very shortly, uh, probably next week. Again, if you look at our wood coaster list, people, a big complaint about some of the other polls is that they don't change a whole lot. Well, by letting everyone vote and letting anyone vote, we have different voting pools every year, and our list does change every year, uh, which is why this Thrilling 32 Bracket Challenge is so much fun because it's different every year, and, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of luck. Um, I think, I think it's, I think it's mostly just luck. Uh, yeah. you know, if you, if you happen to end up winning this contest, I, I think it really is mostly luck and just knowing what a lot of people like. Uh, so I, I think that's really all we have to say again, 228 people voted in, in the Ride Warrior Choice Awards, uh, this year. That is more than we've ever had. And again, we, you know, we're in the mid seventies, uh, participating in the bracket challenge, which is what we had last year. I think, I think we found that really only our hardcore, um, viewers kind of partake in the bracket challenge because they're really interested in the contest itself. Uh, but when people see that there's a poll that they can vote in, everyone likes yeah. to do that. Um, which is why we get a lot of people voting in the poll uh, from overseas. So we want to thank everyone who voted this year and uh, made this these great lists possible and made this contest possible. And a special thanks to our uh, core fan base who participated in this bracket challenge, as always, and, and just continuing to put up with the nonsense <laughs> that we give you every week and every year here. Um, you know, this is five years now of the uh, Thrilling 32 um, and, you know, it's been exciting each and every year, <laughs> and uh, it's been surprising each and every year. And I think uh, this year, more than any other, uh, has been the most surprising, um, you know, just all things all things considered. So um, thank you again, everyone, for participating. Again, next week we'll be coming to you with the, uh, the rest of the results from the uh, other categories of the Ride Warrior Choice Awards. And uh, we are definitely looking forward to uh, bringing that to you. So uh, why don't I have my good friend from Wyoming sign us off here? Uh, Montana, Snakewater, Montana. Oh, Uh, Montana. (laughs) (laughs) So as a thank you, that wraps us up here for this year's edition, the 2017 Thrilling 32. I am, of course, Arthur Poor from Snakewater, Montana. (laughs) <laughs> Danny Miller from who the hell knows where in New York <laughs> right on Ride Warriors go Raptor <laughs> <laughs> thanks guys see you next time